Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you why we should uh, not work with individual images on a page but instead work with sprites. Now what is a sprite? Let me show you an image. Uh, yes, look, have a look at this image. Although it does appear to be three different uh, images, it's actually one single image. What we have done out here is we have fused uh, three individual images into one. And then through the CSS we call uh, parts of this one single image onto the web page. Let me show you the web page. Now this is the web page. So what's actually happening out here, it does uh, you know look like three individual uh, images or three individual links. So they're gonna link up to my Facebook account uh, etc. Uh, the Twitter account, the YouTube account, etc. But uh, in reality it's one single image and bits and pieces of that one single sprite which is a collection of images uh, are called upon the web page uh, through CSS. Now this technique is uh, used quite a lot uh, by many uh, popular websites which have a very heavy traffic. You see this tremendously reduces the load time of your web page. AOL, Yahoo, all of them actually use this technique. Let me uh, show you the A AOL sprites. Now you see all the images uh, out there on the AOL website these images, these small, small icons out here are actually a result of a bigger image but they call pieces of that you know one big image and uh, those small icons are actually part of that one single big image uh, similarly if you check the Yahoo website see the icons here uh, see the icons out here actually these are not small single individual icons but it's a part of a big sprite sprite again is um, a collection of images fused together right so on you know you, this web page which is actually a Facebook link a Twitter link and uh, <coughs> a YouTube link uh, these are not single images but they are actually a part of one bigger image the this is the one bigger image okay but through the CSS we are calling them uh, we are calling parts of it you know first we call off uh, call the top part then we call the middle part and the bottom part that is the way it actually works I think things will become a lot clearer once I actually do everything from scratch and uh, you'll get a much better idea how this was actually done. Have a look at the code people. There's not too much of a code, is it? And uh, yep, so let's do everything from uh, scratch which means that I'm gonna scrap everything. Let me scrap the whole code. Okay, and uh, let me bring up my local site folder too. I'm gonna scrap everything. I'm gonna scrap the AOL sprites file this file the social sprite file all I'm left with is the index.html which I've just emptied I've emptied all the contents and I'm left with the Facebook icon the Twitter icon and the YouTube icon and uh, I'm gonna include them on the web page as a part of a sprite not as individual images so that the load time tremendously tremendously decreases so let's uh, do it from the very beginning okay now the first step is to actually fuse the images together for this I'm gonna use a website that allows you to do it uh, without user intervention actually now they they do it in they do it for you so what you need to do is uh, click on the upload your images button select all the three files together and say open 
the upload is in the process you just need to wait a while what also is good about css.spritegen.com website is that not only does it fuse all these three images into one single image it, image, it also actually compresses your image uh, tremendously so that the resulting uh, image is condensed in size and uh, without actually any loss to the uh, the quality of the image to the image all right so uh, quite clearly all these three images have now been uploaded successfully the next step is to click on the create your sprite button a sprite is being generated people so this is the sprite that has been generated sprite again is a collection of images and uh, even the CSS involving the sprites has been generated too. If I click on the view CSS button, this is the CSS that we're going to use. This is the CSS that's going to call, uh, you know, parts of the single sprite. Uh, I'm going to show you how that happens. So very clearly you can read out here, individual images were 254 KBs each. But the sprite is condensed and it's condensed down to 213 KB. Now the next step is people uh, first first things first copy this bit just say control C or right click and say copy and then click on the download your sprite here link once you do that your sprite will actually open up in a new separate window All right next right click and say save image as and then you can give any name I'm gonna call it social sprites simply because these are uh, social networking icons so you can give it any other name too right so I'm saving it as a PNG image I'm gonna hit the save button next people since the um, the sprite generator css.spritegen.com condense the image I'm gonna use another uh, website tinypng.com https colon forward slash forward slash tinypng.com to further condense my PNG image now isn't that great it's already condensed I'm gonna further condense it and you'll see that it preserves the quality just like the original one so I'm gonna click out here and I'm gonna select the social sprite image to further compress it compression does not actually mean uh, compression of size people it simply means a reduction of this file size the compression is in progress at the moment and you see it's been condensed to 110 KB so 50% uh, size reduction of the file great so next people uh, I'm gonna replace this social sprite image with the image uh, that's actually lying in my downloads folder that was actually condensed at this point people I'm gonna pause the video so I can get the condensed image in my local site folder okay I'm gonna paste the new condensed image obviously there's gonna be a conflict uh, it says that the new image is 106 roughly and the old image was 213 which was the larger image I'm gonna say uh, replace I'm gonna replace the the first one with the last one alright so the new resulting social sprite dot png image is actually just 106 KB simply because I further uh, took it through compression through tinypng.com alrighty so I'm actually ripe to start working inside Dreamweaver. I've called my file index.h 
HTML. You can you could have given a different name to people. I'm going to use uh, a plugin that's called Zen Coding to code out real quick. It's absolutely free. You can get it off the internet and install it as an extension for Dreamweaver. All right. If you don't have that, uh, you know, the extension or the plugin, you can code out the normal way. But see the way I code out real quick. So HTML colon five. Press Control plus comma to expand the code. See how quickly I can actually code. After the title tag, people. In fact, in the title tag, let me say sprites. Uh, CSS sprites or whatever all right hit enter say style control plus comma to expand using Zen coding plugin and if you remember I had copied some bit of CSS I think it's not there on the clipboard anymore let me get it back let me go to the sprite generator you know this was the code that I actually need copied paste it inside these style tags people out here okay let me be in the code view for a while and let's examine the code so basically you see the it's created three classes YouTube icon Twitter icon and Facebook icon it's set the display to a block once you set the display of uh, something uh, you know an element to a block then it starts to honor the width and the height and the background has been set to a temp or temporary PNG I'm gonna change it to the actual name which is social sprite so the resulting sprite was social sprite dot png that's the first change that you need to make okay and everything else is gonna be just the same so if you notice we have three classes uh, YouTube icon Twitter icon Facebook icon the background positions uh, have been automatically set the width has been automatically set you don't need to really bother now let's see uh, further what we need to do let's get inside the opening and the closing body tags so the, I'm gonna create a link people a a for anchor tag and then href attribute it's gonna point to let's say um, YouTube first let's say YouTube dot com forward slash zero thirty mum simply because that's the name of my channel and let's say http colon forward slash forward slash youtube.com 030 mum so that's the link I would want to open when the user actually clicks okay and the target attribute I'm gonna set to underscore blank so that it should open up in a new separate blank tab and then the class people make sure is the same as this class YouTube icon so YouTube dash icon simply by doing this I actually create a hyperlink people that will open up my channel the YouTube channel in a blank separate tab and since I've assigned the class YouTube icon it's gonna pull out of the sprite only the YouTube part let me show that to you things should become very clear now okay so just close the anchor tag out here at this point let's save the document up and take up a preview in Google Chrome okay so notice people uh, through the CSS I'm able to pull just the YouTube icon and since uh, it's a hyperlink if you hover over it you can actually see the hand with the finger showing that it's actually indicating that it's actually hyperlink and clickable if I click on it it's gonna open up my channel youtube.com forward slash zero thirteen mom alright so wasn't that so very easily done let's get back to uh, Dreamweaver let's copy up this bit okay let's paste it down below out here uh, and again a third time I'm gonna make certain changes out here uh, next I would want the Twitter icon to show mm. I'm just gonna change this to 
twitter.com forward slash quality lessons and uh, this class is gonna change to Twitter icon similarly this is gonna change to Facebook dot com forward slash my username right and this changes to appropriately Facebook icon alright so simply by calling Facebook icon class or attaching Facebook icon class Twitter icon class YouTube icon class I'm actually able to uh, summon only bits and parts of the actual main image the bigger sprite which was the social sprite if you remember okay let's see that in action at this point let me save the document up bring the browser let's refresh the browser and you can see people uh, in fact let me zoom out so you can clearly see so control minus to zoom out alright so you can very clearly see that we have three uh, hyperlinks three link tags okay that point two respectively the my youtube channel my twitter account right and my facebook account cool so you see uh, what really happens is not only is there a compression of the actual individual images when you subject it to the CSS sprites generator website css.spritegen.com we further took it through tiny PNG website and uh, it got further condensed to around 110 KB thus uh, you know compressing it further by 50 percent so there was a tremendous file size reduction and since we were able to uh, you know summon you know bits and pieces of that actual sprite the load time on the website tremendously decreases and that's the, that's a technique that Yahoo uses and OA, AOL actually uses and uh, so the whole point is uh, if you can avoid using uh, individual images do that instead use uh, one single image sprite uh, and then call bits and parts of it through CSS just the way I've actually done so people I hope you found this information useful please do implement it on your websites and see the file size uh, reduction the load time uh, as a result will also tremendously decrease since uh, you know you're not summoning uh, different images but you know actually calling one image you have a good day bye bye peace